Okay, so the first thing you're going to want to do is unscrew these. These are the clips that hold the screen in. Just unscrew them. There's, this one only has two. We'll unscrew them and we'll take the screen out. First thing you want to do before you do anything else is you want to put down a drop cloth or something soft when you put this down so you're not rubbing it against some hard surface like the driveway and then you turn it over and it's all full of scratches on the other side. Okay, there's a few tools you're going to need here and most of them are self-explanatory except for this one. This is your screen spline tool for putting in your screen and spline. I'll show you more about that in a little bit. And I use a little tiny flathead screwdriver. What you want to do to start with is you come down here and you can see that you got a break in your spline. You're going to get in there you're going to pop that spline out and you're going to pull it out all the way around. Okay, then once you have the spline out, you just reach behind, pop out the screen. Now lay out your new screen underneath and take the old screen and lay it over the top. You can use it as a pattern, but give yourself a good inch at least all the way around on every side. Now take your cut piece and lay it on top of your frame. And I'm going to be starting along this end. So I have a tendency not to have as much overhang on this end, leave some more on that end just in case I need it. Alright, so now I'm going to take the rounded edge of the spline tool and I'm going to push it down in here in the track. I'm just going to start rolling it out on either side. Get it to go down nice and flat. Spline is basically a piece of rubber that has all these little grooves cut into it. And those little grooves are what's going to hold that piece of screen in place. Now you take your scribe tool, the one that's got those curves in it, center. What you want to do is you want to roll it down on the outside edge here. And you want to try and catch one of those little ridges that's in, the, in that to get it to roll itself kind of down into the, in there. Then you can come back over the top and you can roll it flat. And when you're rolling this out, if you start to see the spline almost start twisting as you go, that means you're grabbing it and it's actually rolling its way in. When you get to a corner, you can take your utility knife before you roll this and just cut it right there so you don't end up getting a fold. Okay, so I pulled that other side taut and I put some clamps on the other side just to keep it from moving about. Now I'm going to roll this edge and get that one in. When you're doing a corner, sometimes I'll take a flathead screwdriver or a piece of a shim or something. I'll just push down that corner because the roller sometimes doesn't get it just right. Now I'm going to do the third one and I did the same thing on the fourth one there. I pulled the slack out of it this way. Just have it holding over there. This way what it does is when you go and roll this side you won't end up getting puckers because this is not tight enough. Also if you put a drop cloth or something down, make sure you don't have a fold that's sticking up that can cause your screen to hump. And when you're doing every one of them, you just want to put a little bit of tension on your screen there so that when you push down, you're taking, taking the wrinkles out of your screen as you go. Now I have the spline in on all four sides. And the next thing to do to take a very sharp utility knife and we're going to run it right along the edge here the outside edge Something like that and we'll cut it away and there we go all done <laughs> 